Hey guys, this is Ghost Prepper here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about three reasons why you need to start your survival garden now. Our first reason for starting your survival garden is food shortages. Now currently, at the time of this video, we are in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. We've seen this with other products such as toilet paper and other sanitation products where demand has skyrocketed and supply has not been able to keep up. Because of this, we have had shortages on those aforementioned products. Now, there have been rumors of food shortages lately, and even though, for the most part, the supply has been able to keep up, I have seen in grocery stores limited supplies of meats and other products. Now, grocery stores typically only run on a three-day rotating supply, meaning if anything were to happen to the supply chain or food providers, we could see significant food shortages in our grocery stores. Now I'm not saying that a survival garden is going to be able to feed your entire family for a year depending on the size, but I think it's a nice supplement to your short-term and long-term food storage. The second reason to start your garden now is that it is much harder than it looks. I, like many other prepared people, thought that if the grocery stores ever closed or if SHTF ever happened, I could simply throw some seeds in the ground water them, and out would pop a luscious garden. Uh, the fact of the matter is that is absolutely not the case. It is much more difficult than it looks. Uh, there's a lot of nuances to gardening, a lot of things with timing, and uh, sort of dealing with the different punches that you're thrown. I did a lot of online research before I decided to start my small garden. Uh, even with all that online research, I still made a lot of beginner mistakes. Uh, the reason you should start now is simply to get a lot of those beginner mistakes out of the way. Uh, don't wait until the grocery stores are closed to start your garden. You should be learning and getting all that experience now while you can still go and buy lettuce in case you kill yours. Now there are a lot of different nuances when it comes to gardening. Uh, there's a lot of different types of crops and certain vegetables grow better in shallow soil versus other ones. Uh, for instance, there's a bunch of different varieties of carrots. Uh, lettuce, potatoes, so I could understand why someone getting into gardening could be very overwhelmed. Uh, in the bottom in the description I'm going to post a couple YouTubers that specify in doing home DIY gardens. I used all of those videos extensively to help me and I found them to be really helpful. So I would encourage you to do some online research before you start this project. The third and final reason why you should start your survival garden now is simply because it's been so fun and rewarding. I have had so much fun picking up this new hobby, especially at a time when many of us are on lockdown and very limited to our activities. Learning to be more self-reliant and self-sufficient has become incredibly fulfilling, and being able to even make a small garden salad or pick a couple pieces of lettuce to put on a sandwich or burger has been incredibly gratifying. So I would encourage you to pick up this new hobby. Now just some closing thoughts. I hope that this video will encourage you to start your survival garden to become more self-reliant and self-sufficient and to keep yourself and your family better prepared. Again, I'm going to put links in the description to a lot of the garden YouTubers that I watch that help me in this project as well as the link to the video of the planter box that I made. That will all be in the description. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support I've gotten from you guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to produce as much content as possible. So thank you all very much for watching.